Welcome to New Orleans. How y'all doing today, man? As you know, I am Kyle Jacko. Once again, checking in from the ATL. Got to stop you on no, because see, I said the ATL. See, I'm not in the ATL. Right now, I'm in the boot. Yes, I'm in Louisiana right now. I want to start this Queen series in a city that's vibrant, beautiful, sometimes dangerous, but it's a very amazing place to be because I've always been around all the time. Y'all always see me, you know, welcome to Atlanta, this, that, and that. Y'all see me. My name is Kyle Jack. I'm in ATL. I fooled you this time. thought I was going to be in Atlanta again, but I'm not. No, I'm not. Not at all. So, as you know, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, I keep on telling y'all, the king, the queens are coming. The queens are coming. And y'all take it as a joke. Y'all tell it like, man, Jack was just being crazy. No, I was really serious. I welcome you all to the Queen Series Chapter 3. I'm going to be giving you queens that are doing something impactful in their life, changing lives every single day, speaking on their journey, telling you what to do. Only thing I want y'all to do is listen to what they say, and y'all enjoy listening to what they're saying to y'all. Only thing I'm doing is I'm giving you a little slice of the pie. I want you to go on social media, check them out, send them an email, do something. Because when you hear that story, how they became who they are right now, it all started from somewhere. But as you know, I can keep on talking as much as I want to. But right now, I have one of my sisters that's a marriage counselor, a coach, motivation to speak. There's so many things attached to this woman's name. But the best thing attached to her name is mother, wife. That right there is the things I love. God-fearing woman. That's all her. So I'm going to stop talking. One, Stina, can you please... Speak to the people, let them know about you more. Hey guys, how are you? Kyle, thank you for having me today. Um, so my name is Juan Tisa Hughes. I'm a marriage restoration and body transformation coach. I'm also an author, a motivational speaker. Um, I'm an ordained and licensed minister. And like he said, I am a proud and dedicated wife and mother. And I spend most of my time uh, just making sure that I serve people with the gifts that God has given me and every opportunity that it avail avails itself for me to make a difference in this world. Okay. See, I told you it has so many titles to a name. I just had to give you a couple because we'll be on it forever. Title, 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 title. So yeah, we had to just do it like that. So the next one is, is what is your definition or your description of a strong queen? When I say that, what's, what pops in your head? So the first thing that pops in my head when I think about a strong queen, um, she's a woman of strength, faith, virtuosity, and she has wisdom and understanding. And in order for you to have wisdom and understanding, you've got to have a healthy fear of God. So that means that she has a strong relationship with God. You cannot know who you are unless you have a relationship with God. So she's definitely a strong woman spiritually. And then the virtuosity and the wisdom and all of those other things fall in line. She is definitely a woman who knows how to prioritize herself. She must make herself a priority first because if she doesn't prioritize herself, then everything else that she's attached to is going to suffer. So that's my definition of what a strong queen is. That's why I love my city. See, look at her. How I mean, we vibe so long, man. I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret. We supposed to start this video about 30 minutes ago. We talked the whole entire time. Right. And now we're doing the video now. I still gotta do about three more. But that's what it is when you get positive people together, you get stuff like this. And the next one is, can you say your name for everybody right now again? Because me and her had this conversation. I met, I talked up her name. I know when the video first started. We ain't going back though. Can you say your name for everybody again? Okay, so my name is Juan Tisa, okay? It's J-U-A-N-T-I-S-A. -S my father's name was Johnny, so my mom got creative and she named me Juan Tisa. Um, but most people just call me Tisa or Coach T. So I'm Juan Tisa Hughes, that's my name. <laughs> okay, all right, Coach T. As you see already, what I'm gonna stick with, okay? I want you to, this question right here, and I love to ask you this question because it tells me more about who they are. I want you to share the name of a queen or queens that had a big influence in your life that you can remember that 
it don't matter where you was in your life. It could be a coach. It could be a teacher. It could be a family member. It could be whoever. There are several strong queens that have uh, been a blessing to me, but I would say the ones that top the list without question are the three that I come from. Okay, so the first one is my mother. Her name is Mary Jenkins. And um, then the next one is her mother, my uh, maternal grandmother, Mary Jones, who has transitioned, as well as my paternal grandmother, who has also transitioned to the other side. Her name is, or, or her name was Dolores Haynes. They are my foundation. They are the root. Um, and the things that I learned about what life has to offer, I saw the ups, I saw the downs, I saw the struggles, and I saw them overcome and persevere. Um, so there were a lot of things, you know, I come from a lot of dysfunction, but even in the dysfunction, even when we didn't have certain things, the core things that they gave me have stuck with me as I have become the woman of God that I now am, and more than anything, the wife and mother that I am. I try my best to make sure that I not only provide my children with everything that I did not have, but I do not fail to give them all of the things that I gained when I was a child, the things that they gave me. I make sure that I pour them into my children as well. Okay. And where are they from? Like all of them, where are they originally from? So my paternal grandmother, uh, Dolores, she was born in Florida. Um, my maternal grandmother, and sometimes I, I get a little mixed up on this. I think that she was born, originally born in Athens, Georgia. Um, and then my mother was also, I think she was born in Albany, Georgia. I was born in Albany, Georgia. And so basically they made their way to Albany, Georgia. And so that's where I'm from. So I come by way of the good life city, Albany, Georgia. And so that's where they were from. Okay, cool. Right now I do something and it's called a moment of silence for all the kings and queens that transition. And I think why that is really, really important because I always tell people, no matter what you do on this earth right now, they have somebody looking over you. The good, the bad, everything. Your, your, like my grandma is not here right now, but as you know from my Queen Series edition, you look at the logo, my grandmother travels all over YouTube now because she's on every logo that's for the Queen Series. On the shirts that I make, she travels everywhere on the shirts that I make. So. Yeah, grandma's always with me all the time, and I'm going to keep on telling everybody that's my baby all the time. So I just want to let everybody know, keep on doing what you're doing right now, but they're watching over you every single day. Never forget that. So right now, what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to bow your heads, and we're going to do a moment of time for everybody we have lost. <clears throat> Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ooh, I love doing that, honoring everybody that we have lost. You know, my end is always, as y'all know, long live Trey and long live my Uncle Eddie Ray. You know what I'm saying? For everybody y'all have lost too, long live all y'all people. I just, you know, I don't know everybody's name. So I would just say, I'm going to say long live. Y'all just put y'all people with it because they are kings and queens. So, ma'am, are you ready for the next game? The next game I have coming to you is way of mind of this game I like called. I call it the wordplay. The reason why I call it the wordplay because you're not going to know what word I'm going to say, and you got to give me whatever's on your heart. You got to say whatever comes to your heart for that word, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so your word is going to be marriage. Marriage. That means dedication. That means covenant. Uh, that means selflessness, um, learning how to make sure that you prefer your spouse over yourself. It's a, uh, uh, the, to me, it's the trophy that uh, the trophy ministry that God gave us that parallels his relationship with us. Um, it means getting out of your own way. And it definitely will draw you closer to God because you have to learn how to give of yourself and to serve. Those are the main things that uh, come to mind when I think about marriage. I love it because every time you said it, you were smiling. Every single time you smiling. And I know why it's your husband, but you were just smiling. Hey, all y'all queens out there, 
that's the way you feel about your husband. No matter y'all fight, fuss, argue, whatever. That's the way you're supposed to feel. So we was supposed to marry Kyle Jacko. Hey, y'all get ready to smile. But um, the next one, Queen, I got something for you. Okay. I'm going to take two words and I'm going to put them together. Your two words I'm going to take and put them together is God-fearing. Whoa. Okay. Putting those words together, God-fearing. A lot of people use that and they throw it around. So I'm going to say that most people don't really understand what it means to fear God. But when you fear God, what you understand is you reverence him. You do not want to disappoint him. So though you may not be a perfect individual, when you are a God-fearing individual, you live your days trying to make sure that you satisfy and do not dishonor God. To be a God-fearing person means that you strive every single day to draw nearer to him and be better than you were the day before. So not being perfect, but trying to strive towards perfection is a God-fearing individual. You do not want to dishonor him. You want to reverence him with everything that you have. Okay. See, with everybody, I gave everybody like, well, I'm combining two more words. For you. So this how we gonna combine. We gonna combine, hey, I want you to tell me if this good in you, whatever hits your heart for this word, I want you to say it, whether good or bad, okay? Okay. So your word is gonna be social media. Is it good or bad? Either one, whatever comes to your heart, that's what I want you to do. Whew. As long as you don't curse. <laughs> I, won't, I won't curse. You know what I'll say? I'll say dopamine. <laughs> dopamine is that little part of the brain that needs to be satisfied and try to reach that high over and over again when it comes to social media. So depending on what you're using social media for, you using social media just for the purpose of socializing, fine. But you can also understand that when you post what your thoughts and your opinions are, you sometimes get trolls and you sometimes get people who maybe who may decide they want to, you know, weigh in and they don't necessarily agree with or have something kind to say. You got to be prepared for that. Um, and then if you utilize social media for business, you're constantly trying to get the likes, you're trying to get the views, you're trying to get the subscribers. And sometimes if you're not really careful about what your purpose is for being on social media, you can end up getting in a situation where you do anything to get that next hit of dopamine, that next high, that next like, that next approval. Um, and you got to be that type of person that understands that social media is actually just a means of communicating, but not a means of orchestrating your life to satisfy everybody for the likes or sell your soul to, or bend over and do what a lot, what I see a lot of women do to try to get the, the likes and the hits and so forth and so on. Uh, they're darn near walking around, you know, pretty much naked. And it's sad to say, but most of the time, those are the ones who are actually getting the most attention. Not those of us who have messages to encourage or to uplift or to try to help you to get to a better version of yourself. It's normally the ones who are twerking, turning all around, up and down and got some kind of controversy going on. So when it comes to social media, it can be good or it can be bad. But what I think about is that hit of dopamine, what it is, okay. whatever it is you're chasing to try to get that next high in your mind. Okay. And yes. Screen has frozen right now, so I don't know if you want to cut off your camera and cut it back on, but it's really frozen right now. It just stopped. Is it still frozen? Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. You're just frozen. Okay. Let me, so let me back out and see if... I know, because if you back out, it's going to end the whole thing. So okay. um, try to cut off your... Yeah, just cut off and cut it back on to see if that works. Okay, I'll give it just a second. Let's see what Only, happens. only on the Queen series, stuff like this happens. We ain't going to let it stop. My sister's back I'm back. Okay, cool. Okay. Now, were you able to hear everything that I said? Yeah, we had, I heard everything you said, but it just stopped for a moment. Okay. But, you know, hey, you know, we love God. So sometimes the devil trying to get in and stops everything, but we ain't going to let the word about it. And before we get to the next question, I want to just expound on what you said. Uh, I want all y'all to know. You don't have to do the bust it down. You have to do the bust it challenge or the silhouette challenge to be a queen. That's you really right. don't. That's right. Okay. Just want to <laughs> let y'all know that. Okay. Out of all the queens, from the Queen series, chapter two. What queen you saw in there was just like, man, I like this queen. And I'm gonna tell somebody else about this queen right here. Let me know, let everybody know what queen was. Man, that's an easy one for me. Might surprise you. Um, 
but the queen that had the most effect on me from um, chapter two was your aunt, Terry Reed Jacko, series 17. Um, let me tell you something. I like people who are genuine. And your aunt, it's, it's like she has like this calm and peace about her. She's like, she, she's got this, this peace, but she's also spiritually strong. And then she has like this real genuine transparency. It's like watching your interview with her was just like sitting back, having regular conversation. Some people do things just for the purpose of being on the camera. So, you know, they're trying to tune it up. They're trying to dress it up and it can come across as real disingenuous because you know, whatever they're doing or they're saying, they're trying to get somebody to, to say, oh yeah, that was a good point they made. But she was just being who she is. You could tell she is a woman who is very clear about her roots about where she comes from, you know, like where she is and where God is continuing to take her. And I really resonated with that because at the end of the day, it's about your relationship with God. It's about your spiritual base. It's about you really knowing and understanding that you can't compromise who you were created to be to satisfy the masses. When you try to satisfy man, you end up dishonoring God. And there was just something that was just so smooth about the way that she spoke that you could tell it wasn't anything that was rehearsed. It, was, it wasn't fake. She was just being genuine. And I really enjoyed your inter interview with her. Yes, because I think right now, um, it's been a couple of y'all that's so minded. And every time I speak to minded, I tell her like who, who y'all picking. She was like, I ain't really do nothing except be myself. I say, I know IT, and they loved it. So, yeah, so, yeah, trust me, my IT, she, she don't think she's a big deal, but I tell my IT a lot. She's a, written, a real big deal in my life because, man, I got to Atlanta because of my IT. But we can't talk about that. We keep on talking about this video and go for two hours. Okay, <laughs> so from, watch, like, you know, somebody can watch her video. Mm -hmm. What do you want Queens to take away from watching your video? Okay, so from watching my video, let me just tell you specifically where I was called and what I'm purposed to do. God called me to help in the areas where I wished I had the most help, the areas that I hurt the most in. He had to heal me in order to help me. And so what I want most Queens to know when they see this video is to really understand that what you see when you see me speak or when you talk about the way that I serve or whatever I have going on, it actually was birthed from a place of pain. So don't allow anything that you have been through that you're not proud of to cause you to feel ashamed because it is those things that God will use. He'll use your purpose to propel you. And when he propels you, he'll prepare you. And when he prepares you, he'll bring your prosperity to you. Some of us spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out what it is that God wants from us. And we try to figure out what a, what, what's the thing that we need to do to make money and different things like that. And I want you to understand that the thing that God purposed you for you nine times out of 10, you are all already walking in that. And so whatever it is that you feel like God is healing you from, that's the thing that you need to spend your time focusing on sharing with somebody else, because we're all called to serve in some form or fashion. So don't allow anything to hold you back. Don't allow what you think people may say, what they think about you, or how they may judge you to keep you from walking in your truth. Because where your truth is, there is healing for someone else. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. But if you keep it to yourself, then you're not doing anything to honor God with the life that he gave you. So that's what I really want to share with anybody who comes across this video. Know that's who, that, who I am and what I encourage you to be in your life. Okay, like I'm, I told y'all the queens are coming. Y'all thought I was playing, but as you see, I'm not. The queens are coming. <laughs> My sister, I'm so proud of her. And they have a lot more coming. So hopefully you you really feeling this message right now. You're really getting empowered. Okay, sis, now I need you to do something else for me. I need you to give an empowerment message to all the queens out there in the world. Okay. Sis. 
don't compromise. Don't water yourself down. And definitely don't walk in fear, okay? When you walk in fear, that means that you will actually fail to try. And when you fail to try, you'll never reach your full potential. You got to make sure that you prioritize yourself. There may be things in your life that you feel like you want to do or that you know God has called you to do, right? But for whatever reason, you're playing it small. Don't play it small. Don't try to figure out what someone else is going to think about what it is that God told you to do. He didn't give you a twin anointing. Even if you have a twin sibling, he didn't give you a twin anointing. What he purposed you for is different than what he purposed the next person for. And so I would encourage you to make sure that you prioritize yourself, take yourself off the back burner, and then go to God and find out what it is that he has for you. Once you find out, don't hesitate to move in that thing. There will be a lot of obstacles that may come your way, but know that every time you come into an obstacle, you are that much closer to your triumphant moment. You are that much closer to fulfilling your purpose. So don't allow anything to cause you to compromise, water yourself down, or operate from a place of fear. You were not given the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. And if you can wrap your mind around that, the world is your oyster and nothing, absolutely nothing can stop you. Okay. Now, what you got to give to the little princesses out there? You know, you know, I got little princesses out there. You know, little princesses out there. What you got? What a merge you want to get to them? Because that was very powerful. So what you got to get to them? So the same thing for them, but on the level in which they can understand, little princesses, you guys dream of being something great. I can remember when I was a little girl, I wanted to be so much, so many things, and I never saw um, there being anything that could stop me. Like I dreamed big. And sometimes the world will come and the world will try to tell you what you cannot do and what you cannot be. But hear me and hear me good, little princess. As you grow up to be the queen that you are destined to be, continue to dream big. And every time you have a dream, start going after that dream. Step by step, don't allow anything that anybody tells you to stop you from fulfilling your dream. You don't have to change your mind because if God gave it to you, if you can imagine it, you can accomplish it. Don't get caught up in what anybody else tells you to do or follow the crowd. You be a leader. Don't allow anybody to influence you to do the wrong thing because you know what the right thing is. Anytime you feel like there is something that you have to hide or that you have to lie about or that you can't be straight up and honest and open and bold about, it is the wrong thing. So don't do it. Don't follow the crowd that tells you that that's the best way to be, but instead make sure that you continue to go after your dreams of being something great. Don't compromise. Okay, I love it. You know, oh man, you, my, I know my daughter's gonna love it, gonna love watching this. <laughs> but you know, it's something that I always do, and it's something that you, I know you love about my videos that you see. Mm -hmm. It is time for the motivational prayer. Hey man, these motivational prayers are created because I love God, I love everything He's doing in my life, I love everything he's let me see in life. Just like looking out a window right now. And God is real. God is, I'm looking at a building right now. And I know God has something to make somebody great in their mind to make that building right there. God created this right, this platform that I'm doing right now. God created you. God is making sure that any day you are blessed. I look at life. When I pray for you, she prays for you. He prays for you. The baby prays for you. Because kids pray for you too. Your life is going to change. It really is. So. What I want to do, since I, like I said, the queens are coming, the queens are coming. Sis, I want you to solve the motivational prayer first. After you say amen, I'm going to say amen, and we're going to, I'm going to do mine, and then we're going to go off, and we're going to be good to go. No problem. It'd be my pleasure. Most gracious, matchless, and eternal Father, we come to you first and foremost to say thank you. We thank you, Lord God, and we, we know 
that you understand where we are because you meet us at the very point of our needs. So as we give you the honor, the glory, and the adoration today that you are so deserving of, we want you to know, Lord God, that if there's anything that's in us that's not like you, cleanse it, strip it from us, and then throw it into the sea of forgetfulness so that we don't continue to do the same thing that dishonors you, and then put us on the path to righteousness so that we can be all that you created us to be. I pray right now in the name of Jesus for this platform. I pray for your facilitator, your son, Kyle. I pray that Jacko continues to come up with witty ideas and that he continues to be the visionary that you called him to be. And that every way that he pours out, Lord God, that you'll pour it right back into him and give him everything that he desires tenfold. But then those things that he couldn't even ask, think, or imagine, Lord God, that you would pour it out on him so that he wouldn't have room to receive. And for everyone, Lord God, who has the opportunity to watch this video and glean from it, I pray in the name of Jesus that it would touch them in a way that would cause them to want to be motivated, get up and do something with themselves greater than what they've done thus far. I pray, Lord God, that everything that has been spoken, that it falls on good ground, that the seed goes into the good ground, that it penetrates and then it produces a great harvest, Lord God, and that you would just continue to do something major for all of us for a time such as this, that we would draw nearer to you. And as we draw nearer to you, that you would draw nearer to us and then abide in us so that we may live a more fulfilling field life for you, making no compromises whatsoever, that our relationships be restored, that God, if there's anything about us that needs to be fixed and we need to be healed to honor ourselves for your glory, that we won't hesitate to do it. And it's now that we pray this prayer in Jesus name. Amen. God, thank you for everything you're letting us see. Thank you for my sisters giving that beautiful, amazing message. And I loved it. But we know God who's not going to pray over Thanksgiving dinner. But God, just thank you for just showing us and just teaching us and just making us just know that as long as we keep on trusting you, God, we can be anything we want to be in the world. We can be anything that we're supposed to be because, God, you are the creator of everything we do in life. You are the person. You are the being that just right and just makes sure everything comes and ties this God. For anybody watching this video right now that's going through anything, God, I want them to be able to know. I'm a beacon of you. They can reach me. They can reach my sister. They can reach any one of these queens as a part of this queen series. I just want to say thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you're not praying over Thanksgiving, though, sis. Over Thanksgiving dinner. I don't get oh, to pray over froze, Thanksgiving froze, dinner. It froze again. It froze again, sis. Got to cut off, cut it back on again. Okay. What'd you okay. say? I don't, I don't get to pray over Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, no. That's what. You, that's one thing you and any terror have in common. That's what any terror does. And we don't let her pray over Thanksgiving dinner no more either. I but heard look, you say that about her. I heard you say look, that, that you I, used to I, say that. Yeah, I love, I love your prayer. Though. Like, I really do. No, I, I love joking kid, but that was an amazing, beautiful prayer. Thank you so much for that. I don't think you're, you and my auntie is the only one that went longer than me for the motivation of prayer. So I was like, <laughs> yep, I know what I started. So I'm going to need your help for this right quick, sis. But hey, I want to thank all of y'all for waiting for the King, for the Queen series to come out, for looking for where's the videos at, for emailing me and telling me, Jacko, when is the Queen's coming? I've got 20 to 30 emails and everybody asking about the Queen's. I keep on telling y'all, the Queen's gonna come, but it ain't gonna be the Queen's that y'all want. We ain't looking for the busted down challenge and the silhouette challenge Queen. We're looking for the Queen's that help out the community that can build your mind up. So since I gotta get Queen's like that, oh, it's gonna take some time for me to get it together because I want them to present the right things to you, not the wrong things. So thank y'all all for watching me right now. Make sure y'all look out for my sister because I'm be getting ready to help out with her YouTube channel so she can be big like me so we can do stuff together. I'm going to create a series with me and, my, me and my sister. Oh, I'm going to do something on Instagram Live. So make sure you stay tuned to us right now. What you got to tell them, sis? Um, so I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I want you to know that I am very, very happy that Kyle had me on today. Um, excited about his platform and excited about the platform that we're going to birth from me over on YouTube. I do a lot of things on Facebook, dabble a little bit on um, Instagram, but I actually need to spend more time and make it my playground. So I just want you guys to know that I'm greatly appreciative of um, you guys tuning in today. Thank you. And as soon as Jack, I'll make it big. We, um, brother Jacko is going to buy a sister iPhone because we need to get off of Android. That's another story, though. But um, I'm like, look, I'm not even going to get on you like this. I'm going to let you make this one. This time, <laughs> I'm going to let you make it. This this time. But yes, we got to get sister. We got to get sister uh, iPhone because sis works way too hard to have 
that little thing in her pocket. But anyway, I love um, my Android. Stop yeah, giving me my time. I love Android. <laughs> let 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 brother let brother make it. I'm gonna get you an iPad and an iPhone. I need you to mm-hmm. give out all of your social media. I'm talking about Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everything you got. Only thing I want you, I want everybody to know is she's gonna say it, but it's all gonna be in the description below. The reason why I let her say it because if she messes up and I put it wrong with description, the only thing you gotta do is look at her. So go <laughs> ahead, sis. You're a smart guy. So I make it real simple. All of my social media and the ways that you get in contact with me is my name. So Facebook, one Tisa Hughes. Instagram at one Tisa Hughes. Twitter is also one Tisa Hughes. Um, my YouTube, which I haven't really started doing a lot over there. That's also one Tisa Hughes. And I even have a little TikTok account that I just started. Um, that's one Tisa Hughes. So everything is one Tisa Hughes. If you want to email me, you can reach me at info at one Tisa Hughes. You can also visit my website to find out more about what I do, uh, the courses that I offer to help women um, and marriages uh, restoration. When it comes to marriage restoration, I have a Take Your Marriage Back Restoration Boot Camp as well as uh, Take Your Body Back Fitness online where I help you transform your bodies from the inside out with meal plans and workouts and all of that stuff. You can go to my website, find all of that information. And if you really want to get to know who I am, I pulled my, my latest book. It's entitled, I Think I Made a Mistake, How to Restore Your Marriage, Even If You're on the Brink of Divorce. And it is a real helpful tool to help those who are struggling to restore their marriages and they feel like divorce is the only option. There is a solution to help you win in marriage. Okay. Okay. And remember this, everything she said is going to be in the description below. So I'm going to make sure she sent me everything. So the only thing you got to do is hit the description and just click it. Once you click it, it'll bring you right where you need to go. Oh, yeah. And I failed to mention it's available on uh, Barnes and Nobles as well as the website that I just told you about and Amazon. Okay, cool. So, you know, like I said, after this video, you got to give me all that. So the only thing I got to do is click into it. Awesome. So the next one is this right here. I need to give a motivational message for 2021. What we're going to do with me and you, sis, we're mm-hmm. going to do a reverse. How about oh. this? We do a straight reverse. Okay. I'm going to give a message to the queens. I want you to give one to the kings, okay? Okay. You want me to go first? Uh, yeah, go ahead, go first. Because this, oh. be, this is gonna be something totally different for me. So yeah, go first. All right. So King, stand up in who you are. You are and were created to be the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower, above and not beneath, okay? The world is your oyster. There is nothing that you cannot do. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And we understand that things may get tough. The world may lend you some some lemons on a regular basis. But bro, don't give up, okay? Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. You are truly a king, a man of valor, and you have the strength and everything that you need. You are equipped with it to be an overcomer. Stand up and lead. Don't get down on yourself. I don't care how difficult things get, and they will get difficult for you from time to time. But us queens are depending on you. So continue to stand up and show yourself strong and mighty. And we'll continue to pray for you and love on you. And just make sure that you also protect your queens. Okay? All right. That's all I got for you. (laughs) All my queens out there, I got this right here to tell you. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are beautifully made. Keep on loving yourself. Keep on loving your drive. Your drive needs to be very strong. I know all these men out here think they're the stronger people in the world. Let my sister show you this right here. She's a strong queen. She's a lioness. She's going out there. I need you to go out there. Keep on making your dreams come true. When you search in the jungle right now, look at, look at your life right now. As all these struggles come around you right now, all these struggles, you're in the jungle right now. But guess what? You still got to feed your little cubby. You go out there, look, look in the jungle and do what you have to do. Keep on being strong. Keep on being powerful. Keep on letting your voice ring. And when somebody says what you can't do, you tell them this right up. The queens are coming. That means this is your year. This is your year to be anything you want to do. I love you. Everybody loves you. You got to believe in yourself. Remember, you're that king. You're that queen. Act like it. Come on now. That's right. So this is what I want to do right now. Sis, we done. 
Only thing I need to do is I'm going to get to say kill him with a smile. And I need to say kill him with a smile so it jumps back on you again. So, hey, everybody, kill him with a smile. Kill him with a smile. All right, then. Y'all take care. Be blessed. All right. Okay. Uh.